What do you want from the new expansion? Okay, board? I'm going to say housing. Yep. Because that is a new mm. novel way to reward uh, players and potentially uh, further engage. Is this a wish list or a fucking uh, application? <laughs> but yeah. So we'll do one yeah. by one. Okay. Yeah. That's my list. Yeah. Okay. That's not my whole list. It's one engine. <laughs> I just want one just, man. Just housing and it'll be good. Uh, yeah. So I think the first one, and this is like full fucking industry green copium, it absolutely has to be deterministic light loot. Because I love finishing loot. I Me love too. I love doing loot and getting my loot and it being done. Obviously, there's like a time of like speeding it up a little bit, River, but I definitely like being able to like have a have the end of a uh, basically the end of a track. Yeah, because I don't like a treadmill. Well, maybe obviously, but you know, I don't. I don't like. I don't. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Cell phone, fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> no, I I don't like I don't like the fact that it's continuing. I would I you know I'd like to see an end goal. That I can go towards in some capacity and call it a day. Mm. Like, okay, I've done this. I know there, there's the finish. There's the end. Fantastic. So, deterministic loot that yep. that gets to be on. You know, definitely gonna yep. add that to my oh, wish list. Yeah, I said light. Totally. I said light because it's like when I say deterministic loot in a way. Sometimes I think of FF14 where I can just finish my gear in no time whatsoever. But obviously, World of Warcraft is about the loot progression. It's about a little bit of that yeah. treadmill happy enough. So it's like, yeah, I absolutely would. You know. I, so, I, th I, d I wouldn't want to remove that. I just think like badges and stuff would help it. Yeah, I'm going to say massively expanded time walking. That's a good one. It's being new type of content. Absolutely. So, I mean, look, simple enough. That could come in so many different forms. Mm -hmm. um, but fundamentally, anything like that. Yeah. Let me do Throne of Thunder and get relevant gear from it. Absolutely. So, batter mm -hmm. up. Yeah, no, no, I'm trying to think of exactly how I... Cause then this, this next one's going to be story based. I'm wondering exactly how to put it down. Um, especially because I'm trying to be vaguely realistic because I would just go, <laughs> yeah, I would, somebody typing, I would say that, but that's, <laughs> I don't want to say that's unrealistic, but it's so pointless to say, just make it good for head. Like, it would be like, respect the canon. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, or, yeah. Or not respect the canons, like, respect the tone of Warcraft or something. Yeah, that's like. Well, even that's kind of hard to like nail down properly, because like, what is the tone of Warcraft? Is to is, is the tone of Warcraft to pick up poop, or is the tone of Warcraft uh, kill loads of people, uh, and have or you know peons wake wake up these indentured slaves? You know, what is the tone of Warcraft? I think that's kind of hard to narrow down, but um, I know what I'll go for. Yeah, I'm going to oh, uh, R. Do that so that it's uh, like we're both building the same wish list or something. Okay, absolutely. It's more reasonable. In which case, I will go for a um, lower, no, not lower, lower person, no. Ah, I'm trying to put it, yeah, I'll go for lower stakes, mm. lower stakes in zone-based stories. That's it. Yeah, you Which, feel you feel more about the story of the farmer and uh, their personal plight yeah. than you do for the chocolate remaking the cosmos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, well, I'm just going to put an easy one in because we've already talked about it, which yeah. is solo Q uh, RBGs. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think uh, would make a lot of sense. Yeah, absolutely. And now there's a whole bunch of problems that are going to be super, super, super difficult to fix this, and I will like admit this is going to be hard. Um, especially when it comes to like, because I immediately, I was talking about it in the office the other day and I immediately saw all of the ways people would abuse this system and how they'd have to work around it, but account-wide reputations. There we go. Yeah, because obviously one of the big problems there will be, as I, as I said in the office, literally just account-wide reps. Your, your highest rep is what matters, so you can't like do it in multiple alts. Then everyone in the game would just go, Okay, I have a human alt just to get reps. Fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, no. They have to fix that, but yeah, that's exactly it. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Can't wait rep. Oh, no. Do I want to do this? Yeah, I do. Radically reimagined. Reimagined endgame world content. Ooh, that's a big ask. That's a big ask, indeed. 
Oh yeah, I mean I completely agree. <laughs> Very good. Please no more radiant quests. I don't know. I think world quests are fucking shit. They're shit. I Here's why they're shit. There's no Fucking story context. It's yeah. all just recycled stuff. Well, it's a bit less so in Shadowlands, but often it's just recycled oh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know? When you know what it used to be? Your dailies or whatever your world content was, it was tied to a rep. That yeah. rep had a story. As yeah, you went up the rep, you unlock some new story. It's almost yeah. as if they were trying to craft an immersive role-playing game experience. And now it is just... All, hello, we are the WoW development team, and all we know about is spreadsheets and numbers and bars and putting bars up. Okay, let's dispense the quests via this, the quest dispenser. <laughs> and uh, nice. like little rats in, in, in the maze, the, the players will go and they will do their daily allocation of quests every day. Wahoo! And you know the thing is, there's no story to that. Yeah. There's, there's no pace over time for that. Mm -hmm. It's the same shit every day. Okay, it'll be different quests, but it's the same shit. Yeah. There's no, like, progression or advancement of uh, of it. It's so un-RPG, right? Y you know what I mean mm. with the way the like, just after Legion, it's like they completely forgot how to build... Yeah. I mean... Stuff for you stuff to do. For, yeah, to do. <laughs> They're just like, here is the... I mean, here, like, here's the the fucking pallet dispenser in in the cage. Mm. Have fun. Um, Indeed, it's just that sort of thing where I'd say that some of those older raps, you know, okay, I get it. They could be grindy and tedious, but surely we're going to make them again with a lot of lessons learned, and there's going to be a degree of innovation, right? So yeah. the idea that you know maybe you ask me to do a few different sets of dailies while I'm at, you know, the first two stages of reputation, mm -hmm. and then I unlock, like, a cool big quest line that advances the story, so now I get phased to a new version of the quest hub that reflects the things that have happened, so I've had visual world changes, I've had changes happen, um, you know, with rewards that I get, maybe with some of the characters, and then yeah. when you hit Exalted, you get, like, a quest line that really finishes off the story of that reputation. I mean, imagine if the Valajar were actually, like, a group of people you interacted with, Mm. Instead of just being, go to the man for your, you know, for your box your every few days. Yeah. That's so true. that's what I'm going to say. They they need to remember they're making an RPG. And if it is just a big thing of, uh, you know, here's, here's some icons in the map, clear them out. It's a Ubisoft game you can never complete then that doesn't feel great. That's exactly that's exactly what it feels like. I mean, obviously, you know, um, that's what World of Warcraft is like. There's people saying, you know, Sands like Wrath, the Molten Front dailies were great. I thought they were kind of boring and there's maybe not enough of them, but yeah, the Molten Front dailies had that progression feel to them. Uh, and then obviously, you know, uh, who was it? Yeah, it was Elvis. Thunder? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, Elf of Thunder. Then Elvis goes, yeah, that's FF Beast Tribes. FF 14's Beast Tribes are very, like, almost, like, literally, oh, how did World of Warcraft do reps? We'll do that. Almost to a complete T. And it's like story based stuff that works for them really, really well. Order of the Cloud Serpent. Yep. You know, right. 100%. Unlock new things to do as you go through their rep that are all themed after the rep. Yeah. There are characters in that faction. Hmm. They. Oh, wow. Actually, uh, Faldrin. Of course, Faldrin. GW2. Mm. <laughs> of course, Guild Wars person would be like, yeah, they've forgotten. They think that RPG is simply numbers go up and that's it. They think that this content is about grinding Paragon boxes or some weird, wacky bullshit. Uh, well, no, it's not. Yeah. It's about a fucking great world experience. Which is really frustrating to me because f people who played World of Warcraft and loved World of Warcraft and got hired to work in World of Warcraft, you would hope that they avoided the trend that the rest of the games industry discovered around the start of the seventh gen, which is RPG elements. Because uh, everyone then went, RPG elements, what's that? Numbers? What's that? We're just going to shit all over Darksiders 2 by turning it into a Diablo Light? Absolutely, let's go. Um, and all the other examples of AAA games that could shat on because RPG elements... People thought RPG and now that means your armor has a number as opposed to role-playing game stuff where you go and have a role in a world and feel really, yeah. uh, you know, in there. Like, Ghost Recon as an RPG means <laughs> one or two hit kills, maximum lethality, 
Yeah. It does not mean now numbers come out of your gun. <laughs> that's just thinking, as you said, yeah, that that's yeah. just what RPG is, whereas RPG yeah. is a role-playing game. Yeah, um, indeed. Yeah, so I, I think there's so much that needs to happen here. And it's like Suramar. They kind of did that, and then they yeah. they forgot, then they stopped. Hmm. So... Yeah, there I, you go. yeah. I don't even think that it doesn't even need to be RPG choices, Yggdrasil. I mean, I don't think I would trust them to do a lot of that stuff, but I don't think it needs to be like really heavy choice based. It just needs to take that kind of feel of because I mean, there's so much of what an RPG was that people can't just go, oh, that's an RPG thing. There's like forty thousand different mechanics there, but even like the idea of like progressing an area or progressing a world or like we were saying about the dailies and the reps and stuff, be able to just progress that is like RPG elementy stuff mm -hmm. that feels better. So it's like that kind of awkward thing of what is an RPG and it's, <laughs> we can start with take the fucking numbers out and think about it without uh, a spreadsheet and then, you know, think about player experience and then work from there. See where we go. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So should... <laughs> time for a contribution, Matt. <laughs> yeah, time for a contribution. Uh -huh. I love contributing. Class specific content. Hello. Please, I like Legion. Give me content that's class specific, making me feel like my class is there for a reason. That could range from Mage Tower, where with Mage Tower like class specific stories, or that could be just class all stuff, or that could just be a couple of side quests. Doesn't need to be like this is a game feature. Just needs to be you know you're standing in the new hub city and someone goes, "Yo, Druid, some plants are fucking up. Could you give me a hand?" And that goes in like a little like half an hour, an hour long adventure. Just give me that. Give me that, and then, because if that happens, I know for a fact, the next time I'm like, well, I'm, I'm done on my main, the little part of my brain that is, God, you love class fantasy, don't you, would go, <laughs> Paladin level up, level up Paladin, what's that quest look like? Oh, Druid, what is that? Oh, no, I already did. Death Knight, what does that one look like? And I know I'd absolutely do that, 100%. And that's the stuff where, like, that would just be, that would, that would drive so much playtime and so much enjoyment for me. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Fuck, I love Legion. So, I think... Oh, fuck. It's hmm. tricky for my next. Yeah, I think we can maybe cap it at five apiece. Ah, well, you know, I'm just going to put this in. One boss raids. Ooh. World ooh, 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 ooh. bosses don't count. <laughs> World wow. bosses fuck off, please. Kind of suck. To oh, they take really. a look at guild... Two hmm. dead. That said, the the last two world bosses have definitely been better. Yes. But they're but still not great. But here's, here's the, the big thing. Work. Yeah. A one boss raid is just different because mm -hmm. you go in there with a raid group and you fight an yeah, actual boss. Yes, a yeah, boss sure. designed for a group to fight. And yeah. also when it's like that, what you do is you create a very mm -hmm. quick to do, accessible in terms of time format, uh, mm -hmm. type of raid boss. Mm -hmm. And it means that you can actually drop really good gear from that boss because yeah. it's got proper difficulty. And then yeah. I'd even say, make it queuable. Or, yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Match make made option, like, yeah. XIV. Drops. I like it. I like it. Because that is a form of, okay, we're never going to have a WoW raid. Be like, you know, so right now, uh, Asphodelos, the yeah. first raid series in FF14, mm -hmm. has no loot lockout. Yep. You can just go in there and just keep <laughs> on doing the bosses to get the loot as much as you want. Yep. Uh, so WoW's never going to do that for its big raids. Yeah. But I think it could do something a bit more like that for a one boss raid. And that would be a way for somebody to access mm. raid-like gameplay. Just, you know, boom, like that. Yeah. And maybe, because here's the thing, we were going through um, Aglaia, Agla Aglaia, the yeah, Aglaia, Aglaia, yeah. the um, the new alliance raid in FF14, yeah. and it has mechanics <laughs> that like just they literally couldn't exist in WoW. They're too punishing, they could, they, honestly, because of yeah. the combat res system yeah. in FF14. That's the only mm -hmm. reason why it works. But it was just this thing of like, holy fuck, these fights are so big and expansive and cool, uh, and have so much lethality and madness to them. Yeah. How does this work? Uh, and it's just something you can hit the Q button and do. And yep. that just feels great to be able to access raid style content like that. Indeed. And it's not like, you know, it's not like everyone in FF's really, really good because that was a fucking nightmare for the first <laughs> The first try was definitely really grim and we all died a lot. Oh, yeah. so, man, in our first two, it was so <laughs> frustrating because, <It's> <sighs> um, you know, we all just knew 
that, okay, the thing we should do here is wipe and go again, now yeah. that we know the mechanics. Um, our alliance pretty much was in agreement. Yeah. Yeah. The other two alliances just kept on rezzing and fighting and just had fights that lasted for a ridiculous amount yeah. of time. Well, that, that's because of a very specific, I think, oversight in that alliance raid, which is there was almost no raid weds going out. Yeah. Where raid weds going out ultimately mean that like healers start to get taxed very, very heavily. But there, like, there were very, very rare that a raid was going out or doing raid damage, which then meant that a healer could just conserve mana from healing and res people and just continue the chain. But yeah, it's fucked. It's good. Good experience. Good yeah, experience. totally. Hmm. Ah, yeah. So, I mean, do we have to limit it to 5 each? I guess we probably should. Uh, I mean, you if you have more ideas, go for it. Well, if I was to, like, vomit a few things out, yeah. I would say yeah, go uh, for it. class skins slash yeah. more class based um mm -hmm. you know customization i would say uh, mount uh, e yeah so mount um aggressive yeah whoops uh so this is just to say uh, mount equipment as it came out was just being like, oh no, people only want to use the water strider. Let's yeah. solve this problem. To yeah. which I say, motherfuckers, you've totally lost sight of what developing a game is. Mount yeah. equipment should be cool and exciting and fun and give people cool new shit. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's mount equipment too, or maybe it's just like mounts 2.0, you know? Yeah. Uh, mount families have uh, hmm. special properties and abilities. Let me say that. Um, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> he's, he's gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. Yeah, um, do you, like, do you, do you want six or Mars or not, like, Take six Suramars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously that's a bit different, but yeah. <sighs> and who knows how a future expansion works in terms of gear, but whatever. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, I would say yeah. Lore Master 2.0. Oh, yeah. Something yeah. big. Yeah, because I was talking about that a couple weeks ago, wasn't I? Something big for questers. Yeah, um, for sure. Mm -hmm. ah, I would say... Uh, I'm going to put it here, but I would say uh, bring back horrific uh, visions in uh, a time walking or something mm. so that you can do them again. Actually, yeah, yeah uh, horrific visions as a part of BFA time walking would make sense. The idea that BFA time walking could be a thing is a bit weird. Yeah. Uh, but there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Time walk to uh, last week. <laughs> like, yeah. I definitely do have other things. Like, I'd even say, yeah. you know, big open zones, not tight uh, gameplay hub chains, something along mm. those lines. I really, you know what I mean, sort of. Um, that, that's just a few thoughts. You know, I have... Oh. Uh, I have other ones, but maybe I'll maybe I'll cool it down. Yeah, so I've only oh. added I've only added one thing since, Sweet. which is to say legendaries with story and meaning attached, because artifacts were incredible for that. Uh and I think that I actually like the Legion legendaries because they like they they had I mean sort of the same legendary powers, a little bit different. But the legendaries had like really cool names in Legion, and I always liked thinking about them. Like there was the there's the Paladin Ring, there was the Crown Jewel of Silver Moon, there was the um the Ring of Necrophantasia, there was a couple of different like ones. I was like, oh, these are really actually quite, not like super important, but they had just little bits of like, ah, I can imagine there's a backstory to this item that's really cool. They all had names and stuff that I thought was great. So I'd like to see a little bit of that back, just in the sense of, okay, your legendary item that you're getting this time that has this effect, has this effect for a reason that isn't just, uh, it has it because we said so, it drops from Torghast, whatever the fuck, that kind of thing. It was like that. I would very much enjoy that back just because I like having that feeling of meaning to my gear and like stuff like that. Cause I still remember, like I still remember having that, uh, the Holy power ring for ages. It was glad. Yeah. Glad. So I think that's a, that's a, a fun little list. Now these yep. are certainly things we would never expect all of these to be there. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing where it's like, it's, it's just, you know. yeah. What's what philosophically is a wish list yeah. is a difficult thing where mine is very much like, I really, really, really think we could get some of this it's like realistic but it's also a little bit ambitious 
whereas yours is absolutely high on copium like crazy. 